Well, in this section, they talk about networking and they talk about the basics of networking. Uh, we actually uh, discuss networking in CMP250 and CMP251. Those are, are both based around uh, the Network Plus certification, a highly sought after certification uh, for getting started in the, in the industry, specifically in networking. I often tell my students, if you're going to get one certification while you're at Eastern Arizona College, Network Plus is what you want uh, because it's is you just can't get away from networking these days. Uh, the the CMP 151 there computer systems one is based on A plus certification. In any case, let's take a look a little bit. They do a really really good job, honestly, of of these uh, looking at these models and also of describing enough information about different pieces of networking, you know, different little topics uh, that that I'm afraid to <laughs> talk about them more. So if you watch their videos and you're like, hey, I really would like to know more about whatever it is, then please let me know because I doubt, definitely don't have a problem um, presenting more information and, and talking about it. Like I said, we, we teach a whole two semesters on networking and so I, I deal with that a lot I, my fear is is that if I start to do these videos beyond what they're doing I'll just make these huge videos and they'll go way too far into it and some of you may feel obligated to watch those and and then um, not be able to get work done so uh, let me know if you've got questions over their little short videos and what they're presenting to you and if I can explain further and I definitely will one thing I wanted to describe is what are we doing with these models that they that they introduce? They introduce the TCP IP model and they introduce the OSI model. And they talk about what is happening, for instance, at the network access layer and inter-networking layer and host to host layer and, and, and all these different things. What is going on? Why do we have to have these models? These models, once you learn uh, what they cover, enable you to talk to others easily because you can say well I think the problem lies at the presentation layer and the other person knows what the presentation layer means and therefore you don't have to explain anymore it's obvious to them right that you're dealing with compression and encryption and data formatting uh, and so that's the importance of the layers in a very practical standpoint now in another way, the layers present to us the concept that as we put data out onto a cable or over the, the waves, the airwaves, that there's layers to what is happening. And because there's layers, we can modify and change things at different stages and different layers. For instance, the OSI model application layer seven up there way at the top that's FTP that's HTTP uh, that that's that's the stuff that's not like word <laughs> right it's not Excel it's it's the protocols that are running really really high well we added those protocols in right HTTP got added in when Tim Berners-Lee created HTTP and HTML and packaged it all and basically said, hey guys, use this. We didn't have to also switch out what was happening at the session layer and what was happening at the network layer. See, it's layered so that HTTP could be added to that. Uh, and that's a fantastic thing. And so there are some confusions that happen along the way because error checking happens at a few different layers in there. And people are like, well, why is it doing that? If it's doing error checking here, why is it doing it later? Be well, because we tend to talk about these layers and what they're doing without directly speaking about the protocols because the protocols, right, those are the things getting it done. TCP, IP, UDP. Uh, ARP, as they've listed here, HTTP, FTP, SHTP, HTTPS, you know, all these different protocols, uh, SMTP, all this stuff is happening. Um, and so instead of saying, oh, well, this protocol is dealing with this or this protocol is dealing with that, we talk about the layers dealing with it. 
and then you learn, oh, the protocol is, is running at the transport layer and the network layer. That's where that protocol is existing, or the protocol is running at the application and the presentation layer. That's where that's running. And again, understanding that it's all layered is, is important because then you realize that we can swap these things out. We can upgrade uh, security protocols and we can upgrade IP right from version 4 to 6 that's happening at the network layer and that doesn't affect what's happening at the session layer so that's the great thing um, all the data is is encapsulated so this this graphic over here on the side where it shows that we've got data encapsulation happening that provides the opportunity for each layer to deal directly with the other layer so if you looked at the OSI model right here and, and imagine that this is your phone that's using this or this is your PC using this, then when it's communicating, it's communicating to another OSI model over across the world to another PC. And the physical layer is concerned with the other physical layer. And the transport layer on yours is concerned with the transport layer on the other. Uh, this encapsulation process means that as data is flowing down through these layers, it's encapsulated by the different protocols as it comes down through. And then when it finally gets to its destination, uh, the encapsulation is pulled off of it as it comes up through those layers. And that gives the computers that are you know using these protocols the the idea that it's only dealing with that layer. So your session layer feels like it's only dealing with the session layer of the other computer, whether it's a server or another piece of person's PC. And the networking layer, the same way. They think they're talking directly to each other. They're, they're not concerned about this data that's happening up here, and they're not concerned with the data that's happening below it. They actually are concerned with what they know. And so that layered approach, that's how that layer approach happens. Let me see, uh, there's usually kind of a graphic out here. Yeah, this one kind of describes it. So that, that's a good good way to look at it. Um, well, kind of, this is the TCP IP model over on the other side. So that's another good layer, but um, layer uh, graphic. Let's take a look at TCP and let's take a look at OSI. Communications. Oh, that's you gotta spell that right, right? And there's a few of them right there. So let's take a look at that. Right, so this is an example of the fact that the data is being encapsulated as it goes down, it travels across the medium, and then that's being stripped off as it goes up, and then the process returns. And then that, that process hides those layers. And they, they don't really worry about it. So each layer is only concerned with its own stuff, what it's having to deal with. And again, when I talk about layers, that's the abstract approach to saying those protocols that are running at those layers are only concerned with the information that's happening at that layer, right? So the protocols think they're talking directly to one another. And that's, that's the idea of that encapsulation. So when you look at the application layer, for instance, right here, uh, this is the last little example I'll give you. So right here, um, you've got HTTP running. And so you go out and do a search just like I did, and you're talking to some server. Well, in that process, right, it's going down through these different protocols until it's being sent across the physical connection. And then all that data is being stripped off and talking to the server. And that server saying, oh, here's your HTTP data, and it's being you know, encapsulated again and then sent back. So this layer here, where your web browser is running, thinks it's just dealing directly with the server that's handing it the HTTP information or the HTML information. You know, they're just going back and forth like this. They don't, they don't really look at the fact that, oh yeah, I'm, I've got this data that's being encapsulated. And that's because that encapsulation process 
or through the encapsulation process, the data is pulled off. So it doesn't see it, right? So that's the way that that happens in reality. And we use the layers to really describe that. And then we memorize what the protocols themselves are doing. And you're gonna learn some protocols. Uh, the certification does not demand that you know a ton of protocols and a ton of ports, um, but it, it gives you enough to go off of. So that's OSI and, and layers. I'll produce other little videos about some of the other things.